Today's topic is hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a conjugated protein. A conjugated protein means a protein which is bonded with non-protein part. Sometimes this is called a prosthetic group. Hemoglobin is present in our RBCs. It gives color to our RBCs. This hemoglobin gives color to our RBCs. We can say that the color of blood is due to the presence of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is of two parts. One is heme and another is globin. Heme plus globin. Heme is the iron containing part. Heme is the iron containing part. And globin is the protein part. Globin is the protein part of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is formed during RBC synthesis. During RBC synthesis, hemoglobin is formed at the stage of at the stage of polychromic normoblast. Polychromic normoblast. During erythropoiesis in the bone marrow. Now let's move to the formation of hemoglobin. Formation of hemoglobin. It's formed by two molecules of succinyl CoA plus plus two molecules of glycine plus two molecules of glycine gives us glycine gives us one molecule of pyrrole ring or we can say one pyrrole ring now this pyrrole ring when four pyrrole rings are added together they form a structure called protoporphyrin one protoporphyrin the pyrrole ring is somewhat this kind of structure this a pentagonal structure this forms a protoporphyrin molecule this is roughly like this this is a protoporphyrin molecule when this protoporphyrin molecule is added up by iron molecule fe2 plus fe2 plus state this is called a ferric state iron is in the form of ferric state fe2 plus is added in this or we can say embedded in this now this type of structure the pyrrole ring one pyrrole ring another pyrrole ring and another pyrrole ring bonded by sulfide linkage together this is called a heme molecule heme this is this heme when heme is added up by a globin chain a globin chain that might be alpha beta or delta or gamma that we will discuss later fe2 plus and pyrrole rings four pyrrole rings which is called a protoporphyrin pyrrole ring pyrrole ring pyrrole ring and pyrrole ring link it together add it up by a globin chain this is called a hemoglobin hemoglobin molecule but not still a perfect hemoglobin molecule this is called a hemoglobin monomer our fully mature hemoglobin is hemoglobin tetramer so let's come here or roughly make an image of this hemoglobin tetramer this is a monomer this is a this is another protoporphyrin this is another protoporphyrin and protoporphyrin embedded with the iron molecules sorry iron atoms iron 2 plus iron 2 plus iron 2 plus state ferric iron now let's make an globin chain another globin chain another globin and another globin four globin chains this is our hemoglobin tetramer this hemoglobin consists of four iron atoms though one molecule of hemoglobin can bind with four oxygen molecules or we can say eight oxygen atoms these globin chains can be of alpha 2 and beta 2 such type of hemoglobin is called hba or we can say 
एडल्ट हीमोग्लोबिन विच इज प्रेजेंट इन एन एडल्ट पर्सन अप्रोक्सीमेटली नाइन्टी फाइव टू नाइन्टी सेवन परसेंट नाइन्टी फाइव टू नाइन्टी सेवन परसेंट लेट्स मेक ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ दिस एल्फा टू एंड बीटा टू चेंज दिस गॉल्ड एच बी ए हिमोग्लोबिन ए एडल्ट हिमोग्लोबिन इट्स ऑल द परसेंटेज ऑफ नाइन्टी फाइव टू नाइन्टी सेवन परसेंट इन ए नॉर्मल पर्सन इफ द चेंज आर एल्फा टू एंड डेल्टा टू दिस टाइप ऑफ हिमोग्लोबिन इज कॉल्ड एच बी ए टू इट्स ऑफ द परसेंटेज ऑफ टू टू थ्री परसेंट एंड देर कैन बी एल्फा टू एंड गामा टू दिस इज गामा टू दिस इज कॉल्ड फीटल हिमोग्लोबिन एच बी एफ द परसेंटेज मे बी जीरो पॉइंट एट टू टू परसेंट सो फॉर इट्स फॉर्मेशन वी नीड to take the diet which contain following nutrients first is iron the iron is the most important part of hemoglobin second is vitamin b12 and folic acid vitamin b12 and folic acid are used to mature the nuclear material during the erythropoiesis during rbc formation third one is protein diet the diet must be full of proteins which will provide the globin to hemoglobin molecule the fourth is copper copper increase the absorption of iron in the intestine mostly iron is absorbed from the duodenum and the proximal part of ileum and the fifth one is now the fifth one is cobalt cobalt helps the formation of vitamin b12 by the commensal bacteria it helps the bacteria to form vitamin b12 now let's move the function of hemoglobin hemoglobin helps to carry oxygen from lungs to tissues it takes oxygen from the lungs and delivers it to tissues for example we make a roughly diagram of lung these are the alveoli this is the lung lobe and another lung lobe oxygen comes from here and reaches to the alveoli alveoli there is oxygen there is oxygen around these alveoli there are blood capillaries blood capillaries here the oxygen diffuses into these capillaries into the blood and is mixed up with the blood the blood takes the oxygen and delivers it to tissues this type of oxygen is called oxyhemoglobin oxyhemoglobin when this oxygen reaches to tissues there a process occurs which is called hemoglobin dissociation hemoglobin dissociation when 1 gram of hemoglobin is 100% saturated with oxygen 100% saturated this takes approximately 1. 34 ml of oxygen and this is called the oxygen carrying capacity of blood this is the oxygen oxygen carrying capacity of blood oxygen carrying capacity of blood if oxygen is bounded with hemoglobin or oxygen is attached with hemoglobin such type of hemoglobin is called oxyhemoglobin if carbon dioxide is attached with the hemoglobin this type of hemoglobin is called carbamino hemoglobin when carbon monoxide is attached with hemoglobin this is called carboxyhemoglobin a condition can be when iron ferric form is converted into ferrous form such type of hemoglobin is called 
meth hemoglobin meth hemoglobin these two conditions this one and this one these are the worst conditions if uh, carbon monoxide is attached with hemoglobin this is called carboxyhemoglobin in this condition the hemoglobin is permanently attached with carbon monoxide because carbon monoxide has highest affinity towards the hemoglobin this type of hemoglobin cannot carry oxygen again and this one in this condition oxygen cannot be delivered to tissues in both these conditions a condition occurs which is called cyanosis in this condition skin becomes light blue in color normal range of hemoglobin in a person in adults in adult males actually it's 13 to 16 grams per dl different books different authors give different normal ranges females 12 to 15 grams per dl and in newborn babies newborn it is 14 to 20 grams per dl if the hb is less than the normal range this condition is called this condition is called anemia